asking, what is the best roofing system for a geodesic dome? So nice uh, segue into that question. I think really uh, we're gonna tell you that it's asphalt shingles. 90% plus of our domes are done with asphalt shingles. Now, there's a brand that we use, we've been using for quite some time, uh, especially on the West Coast. Malarkey is the name, um, that's the company name, that's the family name. And the model name of the product is Legacy. It is a uh, architecturally laminated shingle. Um, it's hail resistant zone four, which is the highest zone you can get. If you nail it the way they say, which is really six to eight nails and do the overlap like we say, it's rated for 130 miles an hour plus because it's gone through heavier winds than that. So that's really what our answer would be. Um, there are metal shingles and there's a question coming up. This is, this is number 2B, there's a 2C and it says, what about metal shingles? I'm sort of usurping your uh, duties there, Carrie, but uh, Reinke Shakes. That's okay. Shingle, as is shown on the screen here. These are aluminum shakes. They are, um, they're small. What you see on the screen is uh, the old style that they have. And that's what I've got here in my hand. If you want to put me back on the screen or if I am. These are very lightweight shingles. So you're dealing with this in colors. This is a special color that's baked on the aluminum. The backside is the plain aluminum. They've got ridges in them. You can see these ridge. They're very lightweight, but they're very strong. We've had them on our shop dome for quite a few years. They've gone through hailstorms. Um, not any problems. This is a long time permanent roof. This is their new shingle, or shake, they call it. So there's a difference in size. So this covers more area with less pieces. And you can gun nail this on. And we happen to have a special jig, or not a jig, but a template that fits over this in the ridges. And it has a hole or three or four holes in it to show you, to show your gun where to nail this. You want to nail on the top of the ridge. You want to nail on the very top of this ridge right here, not in the valley. So this template that we have you use will control your nailing, but you can gun nail them on. They have with the shingle, they sell a coil nail so the color is the same color as the shingle. This one's green. Uh, there's quite a variety. I didn't bring the whole sample page with me, but there's about nine, I think eight or nine different colors that this comes in. I just so, saw it, you brought up in the chat also, Dennis. Uh, I just saw it pop up there. Um, she was asking the price difference, um, which is probably, Overall, it's probably gonna be close to two to three times the cost with both labor and materials, I would think, because you need that high temperature underlayment, which is a premium product. The shakes alone are gonna be almost double the cost of asphalt shingles. And then the labor to put them on is, uh, uh, asphalt shingles are such a common roofing material that everybody's kind of set up, you, you know, they're equipped to do it and uh, they know how to do it quickly. So when they have to change to something a little different like that, they're going to charge a little more labor because it's going to take them longer. Um, so it's probably going to be about double the cost, if not closer to triple the cost. I would, that would be my take on that. And they're going to last forever. Now, Malarkey Legacy shingles are called a 50 year shingle. And I would say to you that the way we build our domes, and the way we do underlayments and the, all the different things that we do, it will give you more than 50 years of life. Uh, I put on uh, a 35 year shingle when I built the first dome here on the property, which is 1975. I don't have a picture of it here, but this is this dome here that I'm in is built in 15 years ago. So the other one was re-roofed in 1983 
That's now 38 years, and it's a 35-year shingle. They don't look damaged at all. They don't, there's no curled corners. There's heavy granules are still on them. I have a little bit of moss on the north side, but it's not doing anything. So uh, it will give you the life of the shingle. So if you have more than 50 years, if you're in your 30s, if you're in your 80s and you still want to do it, you'll have a good roof for the, for the rest of your life. So I think that's really uh, the answer here. Um, look at it from a longevity standpoint. You don't want a hailstorm to come along and do anything to it, so. Great, right. All right, well, thank you.